What's up guys? We got something new in the mail this week. And I got a case of it. So that's what we're going to be checking out in this video. Alrighty, so I got the FLF 56 956C and it contains four pieces. I've opened it already. And behind you guys, I got the team transports, uh, one through six. As you can see, I got the 956 Porsche Speedster right there, the Nissan Laurel, the Skyline Van, the 72 Plymouth, and the Plymouth Duster, the Snake and Mongoose set, and the Porsche 962 Fleet Flyer right there. And in this box, in this case, here's what we got. We got the next three in the batch. So let's check these out. We got a 66 Supernova with the retro rig, which looks really cool. This artwork looks pretty sick. So we got the gasser on here. Surprised they didn't do a Bel Air uh, gasser on there. Ah, uh, and here we have the Nissan Skyline HT2000 GTX with the Sakura Sprinter uh, hauler. And we got two of these. Surprising, huh? Surprising they didn't put two of the Nova, so uh, be on the lookout for that one as that might be the, the special one from this set. Um, so here's the 1971 Datsun 510 uh, with the Fleet Flyer. So uh, it's the same uh, truck as the Porsche 962. Um, and this is the one I've been waiting for. Um, so these come two to a case. So you'll be seeing two of these on the rack if um, you guys see them hanging around. Um, but here's the case code FLF 56 956C and for you guys who need the barcode with that here you go so uh, there you go check those out you know you guys know where to get it um, if you uh, need to search those um, so that's your current nine car selection right now for the Hot Wheels premium uh, car culture team transport stuff um, very cool stuff um, so yeah you'll be seeing two of the dots and five tens um, which is weird um, and one of these and one of these alrighty so uh Going on with this video, let's go ahead and uh, check out the cars. Um, so right now, I think the hardest one to find out of these all these uh, team transports is this one. The 69 uh, Skyline van with the carry-on. Uh, this, you'll be seeing a lot of, or I see a lot of these, because this um, came again in the second wave. Um, and uh, there were always a lot of these hanging around when the first wave came up, or in my area at least. Um, but yep. Yeah. So uh, if you're barely seeing the Snake and Mongoose and the Porsches out right now, you, hopefully you'll see uh, this third wave of uh, Team Transports uh, soon at your stores. So you 510 hoarders can uh, get those. Um, so that's that. Let's check out. I haven't opened any of these team transports yet. So uh, this will be my first time opening these up. Um, but I bought a lot of these. So I've got another case coming. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and open this set up. So this is the 66 Supernova with this uh, sweet uh, retro, black retro rig. Black hole racing. Um, here's the back of the card once again. Looks nice. All right, let's open this up. On with the show. Ooh. All right, so these are retailed around twelve, thirteen dollars. Um, 
So pricey for Hot Wheels, but look what you're getting. You're getting the the hauler and these sweet cars, and they both come fitted with uh, real rider tires. So um, there we go. This is their premium line. So these are metal base and metal body. Very cool. Got your Goodyear um, markings on the tires, which is very nice. Nice touch. Um, you got their thin uh, front front wheels up there on this gasser. So this is the 66 uh, Supernova in matte black. And you got the matching paint on the on the truck on the retro rig, which looks nice. Is it the same? It is the same um, rig as the uh, Snake and Mongoose <coughs> set. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so uh, that's that. My first time really playing with these. Uh, rigs the hot wheels rigs which are pretty nice i wonder if the amazon or whatever the hot wheels display case can uh fit these on there with the cars on the on the transport maybe if you take out three rows uh so you use up two two rows um they'll fit really nice something i gotta look into to display these if I plan on opening them up. So there you go again, the 66 Super Nova. And here we go, Nissan Skyline HT 2000 GTX, JDM Legends right there. They get they get the love on this one with the Sakura Sprinter. Whew, let this one breathe. Alrighty, that artwork on here is pretty awesome too. Glad I'm getting one to keep in the card. Um, hopefully that should be arriving today. And I got these off the Grana Toys website. If you guys were wondering. I didn't find these in store. I was able to uh, see that uh, guy on Instagram. Uh, Hot Wheels by Mo, if you know him. I've met him a couple times at the Hot Wheels convention. He's a very cool guy. He does uh, awesome customizing. And uh, he tipped me off that uh, Grana Toys was having this. And I also picked up from A&J Toys. Um, and that should be coming today, FedEx. But the U U UPS, uh, USPS from Grana Toys was really quick. And I, re I received, received these uh, the other day. Uh, so here's the JDM Legends truck on the Sakura Sprinter. So there's plastic here, in there, I never, so like again, this is my first time opening this up, so there's a spacing so that the car doesn't get too damaged in uh, transit, in the packaging. So we'll keep that there for now. Pretty cool. There's the bottom, Sakura Sprinter, looks very nice. And here we have a Hakasuka, guys. The Nissan Skyline HT 2000 GTX, which uh, got almost got me started into collecting Hot Wheels. I think my first Hot Wheel uh, when I started collecting again when I was uh, when Jonah was born was uh, when Jonah was one years old, and I saw the BMW 2002 uh, on the pegs, and I was like, wow. Hot Wheels is doing some awesome stuff and uh, I also found the Ken Marie and then I found this and uh, got me into the hobby once again and uh, then the E30 BMW uh, came out and I was like hooked when I saw the pictures of that I was pretty much hooked because I was uh, always a fan of the E30 in the FAO Schwartz Gold edition and uh picked that up and then i finally found out there was a red white and blue one and i was on the hunt for that it took me forever to get that and i was able to find two um so there you go <laughs> that's how i got into hot wheels again um in my adulthood 
So here we go, the Hakasuka, which is awesome. This is a sturdy car, and uh, we'll take a look at the other ones in my collection that look like this uh, a little later. All right, so there's the Hakasuka, and which one are we going to open next? We're just going to open one of these. All righty. The 71 Datsun 510 Fleet Flyer. Alrighty. But a lot of you didn't know that you were gonna get two if you bought a case, and the two were coming out of these in each case, so uh, who knows what the value on this one is gonna be since uh there's actually two in each case. So Let's take a look at the 510 first and then we'll check out that fleet flyer. So here we go. I'm glad they kept these Watanabe style tires on here because I wasn't happy with the the number the other blue one that they released. I don't know why they put the four spokes on there. I've said it when I opened it up. I was like, it doesn't match the BR the other BREs. So I'm glad that they went ahead and uh busted the Watanabe's in here. I wish they put the Goodyear on here on the tires like uh, the original and uh, maybe the the, uh, the white is a nice touch on the wheels. Would have been nice if they had the, the, the silver but what can you do Hot Wheels? What can you do? Can't make everybody happy. Jeez. Here's the BRE. Got the BRE license plate back there very nice details on this one you got valvoline you got the number 68 now oh, what's up with the, oh i thought that was on the paint this must be a plastic from here so let's check out this awesome bre dotson truck with the fleet flyer again it has the plastic inside there i believe this opens up right guess not I thought I've seen some people's where they open it up I guess they uh, tinker with it a little bit well the plastic just slid out of this one all right BRE you got the white wheels on this too matching the car all right so uh, this is the fleet flyer that comes with the BRE very cool stuff from Hot Wheels making uh, whew, Making everybody happy now. We get two of the five tens in here. I wish they doubled up on the Skyline uh, van, which they didn't. But uh, we're pretty happy with these right now. I'm pretty happy at least. Very cool stuff. Thank you, Hot Wheels. <laughs> Now that we got this open and out of the way, let's take a look at some other cars. So, we'll start with the Hakasuka first. Here's the first edition, made way back when. I believe it was, this is a 2010. So, uh, 2011, my bad. So that's the year uh, Jonah was born. Actually, his birthday's coming up. He'll be 8 soon. He's a March baby. So here we go. Number 17 to go with number 19. And here's number 16. So you got a whole race team right here. Or not even race team, just competitors with the from the Hakasukas. So you got the number 16. So there we go. 
Got those. This one was um, in the Japanese nostalgic cars, I believe. And here we have the vintage racing um, BRE number 46, the John Morden car, which was released in what, 2010? Is this 2010 or? Let's see. This is a 2010 2011. And there were plenty of those to go around before. Not now. People weren't picking up JDM back then. And here we got the Hot Wheels uh, Car Culture Premium box set. And you got this on the cover. So let's open this up. This is still a complete set. I still have a couple of these lying around. I don't sell my stuff. Or I haven't. I should. But I don't. Alright. So there's that. And here's this. So that is a nice collection right there. But I do also have open versions of them. Got this. Very cool. Number 46. We got the John Morden at the top. Is this still hard to find? Probably. Most likely. And this is what I was talking about earlier. I don't know why they put the, the really thin tires with this and the four spokes. Just doesn't go well. I mean, this is more modern than vintage. I don't know. Race day. They should have at least... I don't know. I'm not going to say any more about that. Uh, I complained about it already. Alright, so there you go. Got some BREs right there for you. Very cool stuff. Um, and I... Should be receiving another batch of these, this case. Um, who knows what I'll do with those. Um, hide them, for my wife at least. That's all I know. Um, so there you go. That's the third wave of the car culture team transports. And, um, yep, I'm, I'm a happy camper with the Datsun 510. They, they did a good job on this one. And I'm glad I got it. Um, Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. I got some more uh, videos coming soon, do more unboxings, uh, probably with Jonah in the videos. Um, so tune in, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, make sure to like, comment, and uh, tell me what you think about the BREs, or the, the Nova, or the Hakasuka, and uh, maybe tell me what you think about the wheels on this one. <laughs> Alright guys, see you guys next time. Bye.